Welcome back. Chaffles are an overnight sensation in the low-carb keto world. Plus, they're super delicious and easy to make. Chaffles? Chaffles. Chaffles. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is new to me. Cook Erica Schlick is going to share her recipe with you for her pizza chaffles. Take a look at this. Now everybody loves waffles, but have you heard of chaffles? Chaffles are a delicious and cheesy waffle mixture that's made just with mozzarella cheese, some egg, and a little bit of baking powder. Now from that base, you can turn chaffles into any dreamy mixture that you want, whether it's savory or sweet. And I promise you, you can even put butter and maple syrup on these, and they taste like a real waffle without any of the carbs. These are great if you're on a keto diet and are a low carb diet. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a pizza chaffle recipe which is so delicious and it's all the pizza flavors without any of the carbs. So let's get started. I've got my waffle maker here that I've gone ahead and preheated. Now you can set it to whatever desired toastness you want. I like mine a little crispier, so I've set it up to number five on my iron and I've gone ahead and sprayed it with a little bit of avocado oil so that our waffle doesn't stick. Now we're gonna start with our egg mixture. I've got four eggs here that I'm gonna go ahead and start to whisk and you really just wanna to start to break down the yolk whisk it together and we're gonna start to add in our seasoning to our eggs. So I've got a little bit of sea salt, of course. I've got some garlic powder, some onion powder, and I'm using an Italian seasoning. Now this has a variety of different herbs like oregano and other garlicky flavors as well. And then we're gonna add in some Parmesan cheese. Now you can add in more cheese if you want to, but I just do a little bit just to give it a little bit of that Parmesan flavor. And of course our baking powder that's gonna make these a little fluffy. Now this is just our liquid mixture. So let's just go ahead and make sure that's whisked together really well. And now we've got our shredded mozzarella. Now, we wanna use a really fine shredded mozzarella, otherwise it can have a hard time melting in there. You can either buy it already shredded or you can shred it yourself in your food processor. Just make sure it's pretty fine. And now we're just gonna add in this egg mixture. And you wanna make sure you get everything coated off the sides here because that's all our baking powder. I'm gonna go ahead and use a spatula for this and make sure that gets in our bowl and that's it. We're gonna go ahead and mix this together and once our egg mixture is mixed together, we are gonna use our pizza ingredients to add that in. So I like to use a fork for this part just because the egg mixture really makes it through the cheese mixture and you don't have to worry about it not mixing well. And as you can see, it's gonna be pretty cheesy, um, not too liquidy, which is fine. It's a little different than a traditional waffle mixture. And then we're gonna add in our olives. Now, my favorite pizza toppings are black olives and pepperoni, and that's what I'm putting in this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my chopped up pepperoni there and my diced olives, and that's it. This is our chaffle mixer. I'm gonna go ahead and get this into our waffle iron cooking, and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the finishing touches on this. And our waffle maker has let me know that it's ready to make our chaffle. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Don't worry if it's a little smoky, that's just from the oil mixture that we put on there. And we are just gonna start scooping out our waffles and putting it into each of the bays. And that's it, we're just gonna go ahead and fill up our waffle maker and then put the lid down and wait for it to turn these into crispy, golden, delicious pizza chaffles. And our chaffles have cooked in our waffle iron and now a few tips to getting them out. I like to let them cool in the iron just for a few minutes because since they are made of cheese, they are a little bit more flexible and gooey. I also recommend using waffle tongs to pull them out and pry out the edges and then pull them out in one swoop. So as you can see here, our waffles have completely cooked. Now what I'm gonna do is I've gone ahead and cut them into the four individual waffles and now I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna let them cut into little slices so that they're gonna be nice and thin kind of strips um, that you're gonna be able to eat as a strip. And I've heated up some marinara sauce here. Now my recommendation is dip it in your marinara and enjoy every single bite and enjoy all the waffle flavors and the pizza flavors. And also I like to top it with a little bit of fresh basil as well. So again, these make a perfect easy weeknight dinner, especially if you're on a low carb diet or keto. They also make a terrific appetizer for any of your gatherings. Chaffles. I think I could do the keto thing. I think I could do the, the, the chaffle, that looks yeah. delicious to me. I love cheese. Sure. You can find this recipe and others at thetrailtohealth.com. And make sure you check out all of Erica's recipes in her book, The Wandering Palette.